In Paris today, President Obama put in a last push for a climate agreement before flying home. Negotiators have two weeks to hammer out a non-binding deal to cut carbon emissions that are linked to climate change. About 150 countries are at the table. Mark Phillips visited one that takes all of this very seriously in tonight's Climate Diaries. A great national and expensive experiment is underway in Norway, where a quarter of all new cars sold have E-plates for electric. Leif Halverden admits he's one of the lab rats. This is the little baby you're considering buying then? Is it? Yes. Leif has done the math. With all the government incentives to go electric, he says he'd be crazy not to. This car will be for free. For free? Yeah. It's hard to get a better deal than free. Yeah, that, that's true. By free, Leaf means he can basically drive for nothing. By the time the governments waive the whopping 25% sales tax and the road registration fee, the sticker price for electric cars can actually be less than their gas or diesel equivalents. And once on the road, other benefits kick in. No highway tolls, free ferry rides and free charge-ups at the government's subsidized plug-in points, where the power comes from clean hydro sources. The old criticism that these cars have limited range, about 150 miles per charge, becomes a non-issue when you can plug in almost everywhere. And for commuter Anita Viborg, there's another e-car incentive, access to bus and taxi lanes. I can save up to an hour if it's really bad, actually. Right, there's traffic all over the road, but you've got, you have your very own Anita lane here. That's, that's quite right. <laughs> that's right. Electric cars might work in Norway, you might say. It's a small country with relatively short driving distances and with plenty of cash to throw at the problem. But what about bigger places with less cash to throw around? Well, the Norwegians say they have learned one thing here, build them and they will come. So many have come, Norway's deputy environment minister Lars Lunde says the government will start phasing out the subsidies. 45, 50, 60 percent when you get a real big market share, of course, the benefits has to be phased out. But, but we are not. And is there. that what you're anticipating, 45, 50, 60 percent electric? I mean, we have to go to 100 percent uh, in, in some, some years. I mean, our target is actually that. What the Norwegians have done is change the image of electric cars. They've made them. Well, uh, listen to car uh, shopper Leaf's daughter. What do you think of this car? Uh, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Deal closed. Yeah. That's it. Sold. Sold like the country seems to be. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Oslo.